All right, uh, let's continue Wario Land 3. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying. Yeah. I, I forgot. <laughs> the stage made me tired yesterday. Because this is pretty much the disappearing block stage. It's just... Those segments in the Mega Man games that I just, I hated. Only it's the whole stage. Weekend? Yeah. It is. No. All right, this is this is my warm up because I want to try something later. I'm not sure how well it'll go given I haven't done it in years, years upon years, but I want to try and finish Metroid 1, the original Metroid because I want to play the other ones and I feel like you gotta, you gotta get a feel for where the series came from. So, I've done it before, it's just one of those things that to get the best ending, you have to finish the game in under an hour, and there's certain things you need to do to get that done. So, it's either gonna be a case of, I remember everything and it's all good, or, uh, I don't remember everything, and it's a disaster, and it takes, like, several hours. So, I don't know. We'll see. For fuck's sake. <laughs> this is already not a good sign. This is my platforming warm-up, because I need to get good at platforming if I'm gonna do that. The original Metroid's more of a platformer than an exploration-type game. We'll see how I go. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's, I guess, what I'm gonna do today. Alongside the other stuff. Ah, the stage! <laughs> Ugh. Someone was a fan of the Mega Man stuff, clearly. This was already bad before, now it's even worse because there's birds and stars now. They were not here before. Or maybe the birds were, I'm not sure about the stars. I think the stars are new because it's nighttime. Hang on, let me check in here. What was in here? This is silver key, so we're not interested in that. Uh, yeah, how's... <laughs> that... Sorry, I was gonna say, how's the morning going, Messiah, but... It just turned into, like, caveman noises halfway. Sake. It's okay, Metroid doesn't have disappearing blocks, sort of. Not like this, anyway. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Case, man. <laughs> you had that, uh... That whole chill day yesterday, didn't you? Hope that went well. Game, please don't. Thank you. 
Please. Okay. Okay. No! Oh. <laughs> Damn it. You spent a ton of money yesterday. Oh, what'd you get? And again, you didn't necessarily have to get anything. You could have done stuff. Dude. had a fantastic Italian dinner. Oh man, good Italian food hits pretty well. Sometimes when I catch up with my brother or friends, we go to like the Italian district here and they do legit food. Is it really going to take me 20 minutes to get up there again, like the first time? No, see, I'm, I'm, I've unlearned everything. I, I know what I should be doing there, but I'm not doing it. Man, it's bearable because it's just a small section of the stage that does it and then you get a little bit of a break. This is the whole damn stage, is this? You got yourself, by the sounds of it, just like a whole, a whole get up. That's good. do that myself at some point. Whenever I get new clothing, it's always just focused on hoodies and stuff like that, but... I should get, like, some pants or something. Okay. Okay. Wait. No. No, no, no. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh. Hang on, I'm gonna drink some of my tea before it. Hmm. I made some iced tea with, uh, an infuser thing that I bought. And, uh, loose, like, you just purchase the tea and it's just loose. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's like this fruit mix thing. It looks like potpourri when you <laughs> open it, but I've never had tea like that before. Like, I usually get tea bags and... I've had a few people tell me, no, you gotta try, like, the proper way, which is infuser. So I got a, a flask, a big one, that has an infuser in it, and you just put boiling water in it, and then whatever tea you want, and leave it there for a few hours. And it keeps your tea warm for six hours, so... That sounds like the right thing for streaming, because the one problem I have when I have tea is I'll make it, and then by the time I get around to drinking it properly, it's, like, not even warm anymore, because I just forget. 
So I think that's that's a good thing for me. I mean, it's a thermos, but you know. It's, it says it's designed for tea. I, I don't know how much of that I believe. Where did I get it? I got it from Amazon Prime, but the, it's like from the company that I get tea from, the Australian one. Like, they do teaware as well. I got uh, some mugs as well that are like made out of China and they have an infuser as well. So, I got a couple of those as well. So, I can, yeah. Make a cup of it pretty easily, too. I mean, it should be pretty easy to find something similar. It's not like it's exclusive to them, but they do make nice stuff. Especially the mugs, I got, like, designs on it. I was half tempted to get the one that uh, had, like, the Melbourne design. They had a New York one as well, but it was out of stock. The New York one looked pretty cool. Yeah, it's like my little, uh, I guess spending on myself thing. I didn't need it, but... That's nice. I gotta say that the tea is, is a bit stronger in flavor than a tea bag would be. Fire! <laughs> oh dear. That's good, though. I laugh because, you know... Does- does a curse- I wouldn't say a curse, but like... There's sort of a little bit of a trend in my family where... If you did something terrible as a child... You're gonna pay for it as an adult somehow, through... Another child, if that makes sense. So, one of my cousins was just terrible when he was a little kid, and his son fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with me, the reason I laugh at the fire extinguisher, now, I don't remember this, but, uh, we were in a Kmart shopping, and I just pulled one off the wall and used it on my aunt, in the middle of a Kmart. I don't remember doing it, I just remember running. Because I, I just remember a sense of, oh shit. So that's the kind of little kid I was. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pay for it one day, somehow. Some child's gonna just, like... Use a fire hose on me or something. Anyway, that's how I laughed. <laughs> Saw that. And... Memories. Well, not so much a memory, just hearing about it afterwards. But, you know, I, I wasn't too bad. Like, I, I think I was pretty well behaved, to be honest. Like, pretty responsible. Had to be the older brother from a very young age. Like... Because, you know, my, my parents came to Australia, didn't really know much English. And still kind of had that, uh, old world mentality, let's call it. 
You know, my mom, uh, my dad would be working all the time, so my mom would have to take us everywhere, pretty much. So when she used to go to the market, um, she would leave me sitting on a box with my younger brother in a pram. And mind you, I was like maybe five at the time. So she would sit me on a box, she'd put us next to a stall and tell, like, you know, the, the, the stall person, hey, my children are here, just, you know. But she'd tell me if I was good and looked after my brother, that afterwards I would get, like, either chicken or donuts. So, as much of a little shit as I was as a kid, I was also very responsible. Whereas then my cousin, on the other hand... There was once we were in his room, playing Super Nintendo, and there was a spider on the wall. And then all of a sudden he's just like, watch this, boys. And... He gets some... Hairspray. A lighter. I don't know how the fuck he had a lighter. And just... Used it like a blowtorch. And the curtains caught on fire. So he had to put him out in a panic. My aunt sees... Oh no. The curtains are on fire. So instead of trying to help... My cousin put out the fire, which was fine in the end. She just went and immediately got a broom and just broke it on his ass. So you know, that's, that's the kind of uh, kid he was, compared to me. Memories of playing Super Nintendo and the time my cousin almost burnt down the house. You wouldn't- you wouldn't think it. Because I think as an as an adult and I'm, I'm calm and you know leveled, but as a little kid, man. thing is, as a child, you think not about what could happen. Oh yeah, no, that was definitely the case with us. And, you know, when you have a sibling that's your partner in crime as well, it, it tends to get worse. I mean, me and my brother, as adults, we still have that sort of unspoken connection. Because this was the thing. It was... If we did something that would get us into trouble, we both had to be on the same page in terms of, like, what had happened, the details, everything. Otherwise we'd get into really, really deep shit. The both of us, not just one. Because, generally speaking, both of us got fucked over. When it came to getting into trouble. So we figured out, okay, we need to stick together and we need to get our story straight. That was something we developed as kids, but as adults, we still have that. It's we're able to get on the same page, like about something, very quickly. Even though we don't have to anymore, it's just something that is still there. Like, and I still used to work retail. This was a long time ago. We both worked at Kmart, and for some reason. The store manager just did not like my brother. I don't know why. Like, we're pretty similar in demeanor and everything, so... Not sure what it was, but anyway. She didn't like him. And once she had to go away for a few weeks on some... 
training retreat thing. So they held a staff meeting about it, and because my brother worked at the front and I worked at the gaming counter, um, they just got all the people that were kind of responsible in the big areas to just, you know, talk about what was going on. So my brother asked, you know, where is the store manager? And he gets his answer, and a little bit too loudly, he says, Yes, I hate that bitch. Just a little too loudly. It was supposed to be a whisper, but he did not whisper. So, you know, this, this upper manager dude hears him and says, What did you just say? And then at the exact same time, both of us go, Oh no, we were, he was just saying, What are we going to have for dinner tonight? Obviously from the correct perspective. And the guy just looks at both of us and he's just... There's no way you two, like, just... That's not, like, he clearly knew what he heard, but the fact that the both of us came up with the exact same excuse at the same time. <laughs> so... Yeah... I mean, it's nice to be able to get on the same page as someone. Ooh, Castle of Illusions. Ah, oh, I built a bridge! When you think about what happened to you as a child, as a small miracle that you're still alive, if something like this happened to you as an adult, you'd be dead for sure. I miraculously have never broken a bone. Despite, like, multiple times where I really, really should have. <laughs> like, there was once, um... What were we playing? I, I can't remember. We were playing with a bat and a ball, so we weren't really playing a s particular sport. But, you know, the ball went on this, uh, carport. On the roof of a carport. So I wanted the ball back. So I climbed onto the fence and, you know... Um... At first I tried to jump off the fence and then sort of pull myself up. Um, onto the roof of it, but I wasn't strong enough. So then I saw, oh shit, there's, there's like a drain pipe that goes up. So I put my foot on this drain pipe to kind of, um, get footing and then pull myself up. That was the idea. So, you know, I got up, got the ball, and to get down, I go, all right, cool. I'll go back the way I came. Uh, the moment I put my foot on the drain pipe, it snapped and I just fell. Like, ate shit, basically. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I, uh, my foot hurt a lot, but I didn't break anything, even though if you would have seen the landing, I really, really should have broken something. broken anything either. You've fallen head first from heights where you're breaking that. Shit. Oh, this is here now. Okay, we got something new. Well, the worst thing I've had happen is like, uh, I opened up the fuck? Oh, okay. Fuck me, then. Uh, yeah, just, like, kind of split open... ...my knee. It just needed stitches, it wasn't like I shattered anything. I just got really unlucky. Uh, I tripped and fell and my knee landed on, like, a nail that was... ...sticking up, like, the head of it, not the sharp end. And it just scraped it. I didn't even realize that it happened until uh, I was going back to class and then... Yeah, I mean, I'll save the gore, but... It, sudden, it suddenly became apparent what, uh, what had happened. 
so just stitches, but no breaking of anything. Yeah, honestly, children are just made out of different, different things. Just don't seem to run out of energy, and also just nigh indestructible. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I can go any further, though. You have a big scar on your inner thigh just past the artery. Oh. What'd you do to get that? I sort of have a mark on uh, my the back of my right leg, which kind of combined with a birthmark, so it kind of it's fine. But um, as a little kid, so I don't remember this at all. But the gist of it was my younger brother opened the door to an oven. And so he sat on it. And then I saw, oh no, he's sitting on an oven door. And above, there was kind of like this, this pot of hot water that my mom had just taken off. And so I took my younger brother off it, and then, because I was like, oh no, I, I guess my mentality as a kid was he shouldn't be sitting on that. So I was taking care of my younger brother. So I took him off it. And then when I took him off it, I slammed the oven door, pretty much, and uh, it caused the pot to fall down the side of my body, boiling water. Like, m primarily on my leg. Uh, yeah. So I had to go to the hospital for that one. It wasn't too bad, the burns, but... I think, you'd, like, you can't tell anymore. You'd be hard pressed to find it. You fell on a stick and it rammed into your thigh. Shit. That's kind of that's kind of similar to what happened to me with uh with the nail that went into my knee. So that that sounds much much more gnarly. I fucking hate this stage, the zombies. No matter how many times I do this stage, I still choose not to duck and try to jump over them, and then just end up getting zombified. I'd say those are probably the two worst things that's happened to me. Um, just the knee thing and the pot of water. There's other stuff, but I, I kind of walked away from them, so to speak. Alright, did it build a bridge here? Yeah, it did. Okay. These two doors have got to be connected. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so they are. I don't understand how, because the other one is technically below. But okay. But the... It makes no sense how these two rooms are connected, but alright. Whoops. Crap! <laughs> Gotta redo it. Cut off half your left thumb because when you're a kid, you happen to use your mother's sharpest knife. Oh no. Were they able to, to reattach it? It's all fine. Yeah, lucky. I had a scare once, I was 
hang a picture with those three M hooks. And I think, uh, I, I, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Quite clearly. Cause, uh, you know, as I let go of it, the frame just crashed and onto my foot. And the amount of, uh, blood I saw, I was just extremely worried that something had gone wrong. But then, when everything was cleaned up, it was like the tiniest cut. I, just, I don't understand. It was like comedic. It was also that time I put my, my hand through, um, a window in high school. Teacher told me to knock on the window to get the attention of a student that was trying to skip class. So I did it, my fist went through the window, but it was perfectly fine. There was no cuts or anything. That was another one of those circumstances where I probably should have gotten injured. It was winter, the glass was old, it was brittle. But just imagine you're the other kid, you know? You're skipping class. You're walking around minding your business and then behind you just the shattering of a window. It's like when you see those cartoons where the main character just doesn't know their own strength. is just too... too girthy. There's really not w enough wiggle room for this. Okay. I have pretty chaotic luck, and I think that's just been something that has been with me my entire life. Is like, there are times where it's like, man, he's so lucky. And then, there are times where it's like, how the fuck does that even happen? <laughs> when you think about all this and then imagine having children. Yeah, well, in my case, it's like a case of if the family curse is true, then... If I have a child, it'll it'll be way, way worse what happens. Better make my house fireproof. But that's the thing, I didn't fuck around with fire. It's more like I should make the house waterproof. <laughs> Just don't- don't have anything that sprays thing at an intense pressure. Like, I didn't fuck around with fire, I wasn't that much of a monster child, it was more... There was something on the wall, I saw that it had, I guess, a trigger, and I pulled the trigger, I was like, what is this? So as long as I don't have something that has a nozzle, and a spray gun, I think I'm fine. Alright, whatever. Let's... I guess that works. If anyone needs to make their house fireproof, it's my cousin. Although I guess, no, he doesn't have to anymore because his kids are now teenagers, but... You would hope his house was fireproof.
I guess the only, the only way that maybe I can counteract it is, is if, like, I have a partner who is just the calmest human being ever and never did anything wrong as a child. Just have to go through just, you know, childhood memories and be like, did you ever do anything overly naughty as a kid? Yeah, then it's like, it's it's a coin flip. It's a 50-50 chance. It's either they get that side from me or they get it <laughs> from the calm one. At least then I have a fighting chance. All oh, right, what am I doing? I don't need to go here. Okay. That was a bit lengthy, but there we go. That... Paint? Spray can? I don't know. What? <laughs> Did I spray acid on it? Okay, top of the volcano and the canyon. Top of the volcano, canyon, cave of flames. Okay. Um, I'll do the canyon. And then Cave of Flames, because they're both on the same map. It's either a sprayed acid or a bunch of water that made it rust, I don't know. Oh no, what is this? Why is there a massive hill here? Just thinking of other memories. There was the time that, uh, for Christmas, me and my brother got, uh, I mean, they're called Hot Wheels here in Australia. I don't know if they exist anywhere else, but it's just little toy racing cars, and then, you know, they give you tracks that you can put together and make a racetrack out of. They're made out of this plastic that is. That bends. No. Very flexible plastic strip. So, after we built the racing tracks and kind of got bored with it, we just used to whack each other with those hot wheel tracks. I give my mom credit, she not only had the patience to deal with us, but also because there's a bit of a gap between my, me and my brothers, so it's like, you know, there's two of us and then there was a gap and then there's another two of us. So she applied different parenting tactics with the other two. So she realized that, you know, we stuck together as a pair. So she did divide and conquer with the other two, and they were just so quick to rat each other out. I don't know how she did it, but... It was a case of just, she always found out what was going on, because they just threw each other under the bus constantly. And I don't know how she got it to that point, but... 
compared to me and my brother who figured out sticking together was the better option to not get into trouble or get into less trouble. The youngest two, man, they just... It was amazing how quickly they threw each other under the bus. And I would get so annoyed at them, I'd be like, shut up! None of you have to say any of the stuff you're saying, just shut up. Stick together. It never worked. It was a case of one of them would be getting into trouble, and then the other, the other one... Well, one of them would be getting into trouble, and then to kind of soften the blow of them getting into trouble, they would just rat out the other for something completely unrelated. I don't even see what the stage is. Oh, wait a minute. Does this have a practical use? Hang on. Like, if it splits me down the middle... Well, then how am I supposed to get down there? Oh. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's a very simple answer. I'm just not going to do better than what I did last time. Like, I peaked in terms of this minigame already. Alright, well. That's a loss. do this. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I fucked up. I was trying to put it on the other side. I just didn't have the confidence to do like a short range shot. Ah, oh, come on! Come on! Not fair. Yeah, well, I've clearly lost this one. What? What was that? I, I can't quit. <laughs> like, I should just throw in the towel already. This is bad. Oh, wow. I just realized it's costing me 50 coins each try. I have, like, a limited number of attempts. What do you mean?
I've already used 300 coins. Dude, what is what is wrong with me? I had such good shots yesterday. Okay. I already lose. It's a par four, like I'm done. One's a full blast. What do you mean? <laughs> Why? I'm gonna run out of coins. Okay, there is there is no way that I don't get this. I have to get this. There it is. Ugh, that was 500 coins. Wait, what? Oh no, I see, I see, I see. I messed up. That's a, there's a few stages that have that. Okay. Um, it's the hole and then the crater. Remember where the iron door was on this one. It might be through here. No. recognize this, I've done this. Yeah, I've done this. Hmm. Oh yeah, here it is. It was a flaw. Same difference. Set it up completely. Hey! The 
that really get reset? Dick! <laughs> oh. <laughs> These handcrafted stages that just fuck you over. Okay. What do I ha what do I have to do now? Ah. Uh -huh. Same idea again. Oh, what have I done? Wait. off. Okay. I've somehow made this worse. Just for a coin. <laughs> Wait, what? The fuck? What is this? Were you telling me there was a shortcut the whole time? What is, what is this? Still haven't decided if I'm going for all the coins. Just seems like it's gonna be a huge process. Has to be something else to this. Ah, there it is. Ah. 
I didn't know you could do that. Okay, well, I know where that is. Okay, volcano next. Yeah, how do you do it? Yeah, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I'm close to the end. I mean, if you don't take into account uh, getting all the coins. So there's still plenty to this stage. I don't think it's that way. I was just trying to put it down. These things reappear too quickly. I need to get rid of that. It's just in the way. Dude, really? Is there nothing else I can throw at this? I've, I've done this before. Why is this so annoying now? Good, 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 good. I love the premise that War is having probably a very horrible, horrible allergic reaction. It's just, like, comedic to children. 
Like, he has a funny face, that's all we see. For the love of God, why is nobody helping? Is this always here? I don't think this is always here. genuinely don't remember if this is somewhere I've been or not. Do I have red? I don't have red. Alright, so I guess this is fine. This is pretty catchy music. I guess this is as far as it goes. This looks like it's a multi-part. coin thing. So then, can I go through the door? No? Okay. What am I missing from this room? like a dodgy fake wall or something somewhere. Otherwise, how am I supposed to get across that? I need... Like, I can't do that. There's gotta be another entrance somewhere. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to how those two rooms connected. So, okay, hang on. So now I, this... Yeet. This may have gone too far. Did it save it? No. Uh, okay, how am I gonna get her across? I may be overcomplicating it. In there. 
I had it in there before. How did I do that? Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, but see, this is... Is it... Is it bad? I, I don't know. I think I need a little get up. Okay, come here. Uh, no, it should be fine. Okay. That's gonna be the thumbnail, that's nice and easy. The snake is it's about to take a bite out of that booty. Two stages that pointed out. I think this was one of them. Yeah, there it is. This is just here purely to get the coin. Which I don't really care about right now. That's it, alright, now I just gotta go get it. You that. Uh, I genuinely can't remember where blue is. I don't think it's this one. This is just that. There's no other part? Alright. somewhere else. This is... wrong, I think. I feel 
like I've been here before. Yeah, that's just that. Where's this blue chest? Oh, okay. There's one more ball. God, it's there it is. Yeah, okay, cool. Meal beast. <laughs> okay. I think that's the stage done too. Right, uh, in terms of treasures, at least. Uh, another shield. I can't remember which stage has... It might be this one. Yeah, it's this one. There's zombies in here, aren't there? <laughs> Those lights. Those are zombie lights. Yep. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> Damn it, I almost made it to the top. I was almost. To the top, first try! Ah! I can't believe that. Didn't happen that time. Okay. Where's the chest? Oh, wait, it should be here. Huh? Oh, you can fuck right off. <laughs> Is this for real? The floor is invisible as well. This is just- this is- uh, this is annoying. It's not a puzzle. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. And the floor is invisible as well. No! What do you mean? I, I can't get it while this is active. <laughs> How do I undo- Oh, I gotta be a zombie. Okay, hang on. 
Zombie. I mean, how does being invisible prevent you from touching objects? How am I supposed to do this? I can break. So I need to be invisible to get here. But then to finish the stage, I shouldn't be invisible, so. No, there has to be a way to break out of invisibility. I have the key, right? I have the key. <laughs> Is there like... How am I supposed to do this then? This doesn't snap you out of it. Okay, I think, I think I know how. I hate the answer, but I think I know how. It's just annoying, it's not challenging. I need to do is I need to zombify myself and fall on the light from above. Like here, yeah, fall on this one here. It's just it's annoying to do because I can't see where the fuck I'm jumping. Okay, where's that other zombie? This one. No, how, how's that gonna work then? I can't get through here unless I'm invisible. But then I can't open the chest if I'm invisible. Unless I'm overlooking something really fucking simple. This seems annoying. That's as far as it comes out. close. Is there really no other way? I don't see anything else up there that I can- oh, I have to go- oh, I have to go all the way back now.
if there was a pipe there, that would work. Oh, crap. <laughs> if I was using an emulator, I would fucking turn off the transparency effects so then it just makes Wario visible the whole time. Okay. I think I just have to time it right. I have to make the zombie walk to the edge. There, okay. Come on. Come on, you bastard. I'm here. There has to be an easier way. No, I refuse to believe this is how they want me to do this. <laughs> I don't see another way. Let me, let me think for a minute. I'm gonna sip on my tea. Let me think. There is nothing else up there. There is a single zombie. Unless there's a torch I can't see. That's the only possibility. Maybe there's a torch I can't see up there. And maybe that's how I do it. Trust that that might be the answer. No, there's nothing here. I don't know how I'm going to make myself normal. I mean, I could not see another way to do this. Another ring. I think that was it for all the white stages. There's one more here, apparently. I think I know where this one is, it's just, I don't think... It's open. Yeah, I know there's a door here, but I can't go through it, so... Okay, that's still up in the air. Oh, 
a lot of these stages are done now. I'm just gonna guess that it involves this. Just a hunch. What do you mean, like... <laughs> really? Nice, nice course. Oh, that's bad news for me. had zero room for error. Wow, I made it up in <laughs> one go. Happy about that. I'll oh, piss off. I was doing fine. <laughs> so, where's this balloon? hate these kind of stages. Hey, <laughs> thanks for the ride. Oh, there's a balloon. Okay. Yeah, I was right. Alright, I just need the key. How's the stream? Uh, Jeopardy night, right? Did I inadvertently do the wrong thing here? <laughs> hey, Mikey, as well. Yeah, I may have done the wrong thing. That was Jeopardy. Cool, cool. How's Zelda going? Is this just a maze that I have to figure out? Good, but there's so much to do. Yeah, you're telling me. A solid two months of uh, work to finish the game for me. 
I didn't even do everything. The temples are annoying. I didn't find them too bad. I kind of enjoyed uh, the one in the Gerudo. Because it felt like a classic Zelda one. So, it seemed pretty intuitive to what to do because it was pretty similar to one of the previous entries. is back that way. <laughs> I'm enjoying this game, but man, the theme of it really is just like... Can't go a minute without having something that just knocks me on my ass. can't stay at 6 a.m. No, don't need to say that. Understand completely. Time zones. What is that? Is that a drill? Okay, yeah. It's a jackhammer. <laughs> Good night, Evie. Thanks for the raid. Have a good rest. What stage is that? I'm trying to think. Oh. East Crater, huh? That's Cave of Flames. I don't like this stage because this is what I have to do every time I come in here, is just this sequence of... Just breaking down these walls every time. And then these things just getting in my way. Level design in this one. Alright, that works. Even sure what I'm looking for though. Unless it, I guess it's all on the same side of the map. Is that it's a gust of air, but I don't know where I saw that, if I saw that at all. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I think I have an idea where it is. If I think it's this, I don't know. I think it's here. This just this just leads to the red chest, which I've already done. Oh, you know what? I think I know what this might be. Maybe there might be an area up above. Uh, nope. Okay. That's the only spot I haven't checked is to the side there. Good enough. Oh, there we go. Should have known. Warrior's too thick. <laughs> he doesn't move quick enough. Oh. beginning to think that this particular game inspired those game developers that made those games where if you make the slightest mistake you just fall back down to the very start. It just seems like that's the theme of this game. back to normal. Okay, so this is my destination. But the problem is this thing is here. That gust of wind is gonna take me up.
Alright, so how am I supposed to do this? Is this a case of just like a janky hitbox, maybe? No. Yeah, once he's once he's caught in the in this, he can only go up. How am I supposed to go further down? Okay. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, this sucks. No, come on. There has to be an easier way to do this. Is it really that annoying? Okay, go when they appear. Alright, got it. Goggles? What do you see? Really? So it's not it's not lights that reveals the door, just night vision goggles. A door which you can already see. Alright. At least this one, I know where it is. What? Let's see. Damn it. <laughs> yes, get sent to the bottom. Got to challenge the player. Now I'm at the bottom. There's nothing else here. Need to do this at like the last possible minute. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be more lasers or something. That's fine. Uh, 
Uh, a bell? I can't tell what that is. It's a gong, okay. Hmm. Okay. How many treasures have I got left? Three. Okay. Oh. That's useful. I was like, what? what? <laughs> you can just jump to the map and not walk. It's alright, I only discovered it when 90% of the game is done. I mean, to be fair, it did unlock it about two-thirds of the way in, so... It's not like that feature was there from the start. I'm getting better at this. I would hope so, given the amount of times I fell to the bottom. Okay, so we should be able to get that now. That's fair. I have to do it twice. I get up there the first time without without messing it up. Okay. <laughs> no. All right, drink of water. Man. is doing is just it's making me not want to play another Mega Man game for a while. <laughs> I've had my fill of disappearing blocks for, for the first few months of this year. There. Okay, this one's a dash. Damn it. Okay, I just need to do it at the very last second. There. Got it. 
Sky Palace. This is probably- oh no. Never mind. I was like, this is probably going to be a boss, but it's not. Oh no, what fresh hell is this? Oh no! <laughs> it's not fair! It's okay, it's okay. Just do it again. So, really, you can't get in there the, the first time. I can't, I can't even get in there the second time by the looks of it. Oh no, got it. A pickaxe. Useful feature is useful. Wait, is it this stage? No, it's not. I mean, this stage is also needed, but it's not this stage. again. I don't think I have to go all the way to the bottom, though. Into the vortex. Wait, is this really a case of I have to catch it? Wow, okay. This is a new gimmick. <laughs> oh no. I don't like it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I'll take it. I thought there was more to it. And this will now mean I can get the last treasure. Well, okay, it looks like I could have gotten it either way. Cave of Flames, right? No, it's not Cave of Flames. Where is this last treasure? Ah, West Cradle. Okay. It's blue. This is green swan, and I think this is isolated. Unless I'm mistaken.
What's that on the right side? I feel like that's going to be something important. Maybe that's just the way forward. look somewhere else. This doesn't seem right. Okay, uh, this, this seems correct. I'm even supposed to do this. <laughs> that was fun. Last time. Ah. All right. I just I lose anyway because these ones you can't make a mistake. This one seems too good to be true. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Got it. Don't know where this is, but it's done. Or is this more of a maze than something I, I need to throw stuff with? I have to eat it. Alright, that did it. Hey, make me fat. It's not quick enough to get it. Oh, yes! <laughs> Straight to the bottom! I somehow avoided that. Okay. Now I have to eat on purpose. 
Wait, do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. How's this gonna work? going to work yes <laughs> got it that's all the treasures now Right? Pretty certain. No, there's one missing. I'm wrong. There's one more. Alright, we need to find one more. One of these stages has one. Oh, I think I know which one. not. I thought for sure it'd be the void. Colossal hole. Wait, so this one... I thought for sure this would only be doable when this was done, but... Okay, where have I missed it? What key am I looking for? Blue. really sure where I'm looking for this. I wonder if this is a case of maybe the very final thing that happens once you collect all the coins is it reveals the location to this thing. Because this seems, I don't know, like I, I don't recall seeing anything that I could do here anymore. Like the owl is to the right. I did the left hand side, which was like the whole golf situation thing. Let's see, I've, I've done this. This is just the mini golf one. Well, the rolling one, and then mini golf is above it. There was a door that I couldn't get to. Unless that's resolved, there's, there's nothing to do here. Talking about over here. Oh, it has. Ah. Oh. Okay. That must have happened at some point. So what's with the middle of the stage? Ah. Uh. 
leap of faith. <laughs> Crap, 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 just keep jumping. How's this not stopped yet? There we go. That's it. All treasures acquired. No. <laughs> uh, uh, mm, I need to choose if I want to 100% this and get all the coins. Because it would mean revisiting all these levels. But see, the thing that I worry about... That, that to me looks like golf. A picture of golf. That's why I, I just did not- it didn't pique my interest before. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna look it up. If it's anything related to golf, I'm gonna say fuck that. Wario Land 3, all coins reward. If it's a new ending, cool. Ah, uh, what is it? It's like all music coins. That's what it is, music coins. Ha 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 no thank you. Okay, so the musical coins. If Wario collects all the musical coins... It says... Okay, hang on. Yeah. He unlocks the last golf course in the building found in... No thank you. That the reward is a golf course! Alright. I collected all the treasure. Fuck that. I'm good. That's my inner child appeased. We're going to the boss. That is that is not a worthy reward. It's something that I'm gonna spend two streams doing, and something that I'm ultimately just gonna fail at, because I hate the minigame. Alright. Oh yeah, straight to the end. Don't a hundred percent the game because you're a casual. I walk past it. All right, cool. Wonderful work, Wario. Now replenish my power. We saw this last time, but... Now I have all the treasure. <laughs> a golf course. I would have been so angry if I didn't look that up. If it would have been a picture of a map, just a generic map with an X, I would have thought it was some special stage or a treasure chest. But because it was a picture of a golf course, that's why I was like, hmm, I better look this up first. Because it seems to me that that's pointing out a golf course, which I, I don't want anything relating to that. All right. Finally, I am myself again. Now I can rule this world. And the outer one as well. I need you no longer, Wario. I shall crush you like a bug. Okay. Let's see the... 
Is there nothing at stake here? Or does it just put you back outside? That doesn't seem good. Wait, there's an actual game over in this? <laughs> really? Oh no! Oh, but- Okay, I can skip it. Okay, good. You can actually die. Wario fucking died. Oh, yes! Oh, see, this is going to be- this is going to be annoying. <laughs> I can't rapid retry, because it's gonna keep doing this. They programmed a game over screen. Just for this specific fight. Couldn't they just throw me somewhere and then let me try again like every other boss in this game? It feels like a little bit of a oh shit moment where they realized they needed to do something to exit the boss fight. Ah, uh, oh I see. Okay, got it. S stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Literally, stop eating yourself. Well, for fuck's sake. <sighs> All right. Honestly, of all the thing- <laughs> Fuck, I jumped. Of all the things to kill him. Survived countless number of things. Allergic reactions, getting burnt. Getting cocooned. <laughs> hey, Collar, and how's it going? Okay, come on. Stop eating yourself. Stop eating yourself. I don't like this fight. <laughs> I can't believe there's a game over screen. That's Friday. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was gonna... I just got that at the last second. Dude! <laughs> I can't believe that it drops you to the main menu. That's insane. I hate this. <laughs> but he's not even dead, he just falls asleep. And then it's like, wake up. Why couldn't it just put me somewhere where this happens still, but it just lets me jump back into the fight? It just seems really unnecessary to do the game over screen and go back in.
fuck? Got ya. Okay, it's not three. Oh crap, it's quicker. I don't like this fight. I don't like this fight. Oh, you wanker. I don't like this fight. It's just this shit here. Why? Why was this necessary? This is like one of these classic Nintendo oversights. Just, at some point, Nintendo just goes, nah, fuck it. <laughs> yes! Was that established at some point? Okay, that dude was just a farmer. Thank you very much. Long ago, this was a peaceful world. But that meddlesome being appeared and tried to take control. We managed to seal away his power in the five music boxes, but he used the last of his power to change us into strange beings. Fearing his return, we tried to stop you, but we never thought you would defeat him. Thank you very much. So we give you all the treasure you have collected so far. Now then, let me send you back to your own world. So, that's why they were trying to stop me. <laughs> How's he gonna lose his treasure? This happens in every Wario game. He's gonna fuck up and then everything he worked so hard for. Is gonna just disappear. Every time, without fail, it happens. I'm not- I'm not believing it until the very end screen appears and there's nothing else to see, but... Don't let this fool you, he's going to be poor as fuck by the time these credits are over. <laughs> Okay, yeah, cool. That was, uh, Warrior Line 3. Uh, first time I'm playing it. And I'll, I'll give my opinion of it. It's, it's alright. I don't mind it. I'm more of a fan of Warrior Line 2. I did like, uh, the whole new direction, ultimately. Um, you know, a little bit of a Metroid vibe to it. Having to, well, not literally, but... The Metroidvania formula, where you have to get things to be able to progress. Um, so, you know, that, that was fine. It was cool. I just think at times, um, I did have to try and figure out where I needed to go, and it took a while, and I had to backtrack. And, you know, that's fine. That's in the genre of that. But I never expected it from a Wario Land game. I guess I was expecting something closer to 2. Um... 
So, yeah, I mean, I, I like it. Just more of a fan of two. I guess nostalgia is the other reason. But I think pretty good game. And again, just the Game Boy being capable of games like this. When you compare it to something like the NES, this is really good looking. And complicated. Perfect! Oh, yes! Dude, that should be an emote. I should turn- I should convert that into an, an emote. I might be able to- I'm- I might be able to do that. I would just extract each thing as a frame and cut out the image each time. I might- I might convert this to an animated emote. Like, it would- it would not be that hard to do, I don't think. Um, there's nothing else to see. I'm pressing buttons. My homework for the weekend? I'm not doing it this weekend. I can't. I got a lot on during the day. Unless there's something very easy that lets me take a video and convert it to a... Oh, there might be. No, but it has to be in a square rate. Uh, I'll look into it. If it's something that takes me like 20 minutes, sure. Um, yeah, there's nothing else to see. This is one of these classic scenarios where you have to reset the game to end it. Anyway, that's it. Uh, Warrior didn't become poor, but I'm sure in Warrior Land 4 he will be. Because that's just... The plot point of these games is... He collects treasure and somehow, in the end, he gets screwed out of his reward. So, yeah. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the playthrough of this one, chat. And, uh, you too as well, if you're watching on YouTube later. Hope you did enjoy it, and, uh, don't forget button clicking for algorithm purposes if you want to support the content I do here. Uh, also lets me know to do more of these kind of retro games in future if I see people are enjoying them. But this is the part where I say bye YouTube.